looks like we're live. We're going to give it a little bit for people to come on in as we don't have a uh, intro. So we just got to let people come on in. When you do come, make sure you uh, say hello in chat. We're here for the next installment of the Pfeffer News Speaking. And I might need to adjust this slightly. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Gotta make sure we can see Gormfield there. I need to back this up a little bit now. Do, 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 do. Hey, Kelsey, how you doing? Welcome on in. All about that space. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry, we're, we're going to wait for the raid, and uh, we just want to give people a chance to get in here. So uh, we'll be starting here in just a second. But you can see the dough is uh, out there in the Ziploc bag. Pulled it out about the uh, about 25 minutes ago. Let it uh, just kind of sit. Oven is already preheated. So ready to go there. You have that same laptop, that uh, Asus. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that I think since 2018 so it's uh, 2018 or 2019 I think 2018 it's it's getting up there it's about time for a new one uh, hello homie live how you doing welcome on in good to see you so yeah if you're gonna be uh, if you're gonna be doing this along like if you made the dough earlier and uh, you want to bake them too uh, you want to preheat your oven to 350 350 and uh, that's the uh, temperature Gormfield recommends. <laughs> and they're only going to cook for about uh, eight to nine minutes. So it's going to go quick. But the nice thing is we can, we, I mean, we can't make them all in one, one go. Uh, so it becomes kind of an assembly line process as we start going. Well, stuff is in the oven. We got two pans. We'll have uh, stuff in the oven and then stuff uh, uh, getting made as well. So there's Sim Caesar, M. Glickman. Good to see you. Flight Level Riz. Welcome on in. Hello, Raiders. Ascended Gravity, good to see you. Mouette, welcome on in. Cold Nebo, hello, House 75, Sleazy does it again. You did not miss the yeast being bloomed again, no. <laughs> Monster SD 619, welcome on in. I've been blooming the yeast all day. <laughs> How do you know what that means? Uh, Makers Dave, welcome on in, good to see you. Hello. <laughs> There's a little Gormfield emote, love it. Barbecue beef, good to see you. I know Sim Caesar, you know what that means. That's all you do is bloom the yeast. When you're not on stream, I assume that's what's happening. Peter Mooney, hello! What do you mean chopped liver? That's the first time I've seen you in chat. How <laughs> you doing, Peter Mooney? <laughs> I'm watching this fly by, I would have seen you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got a follow from uh, D, uh, D Moneyzer. D Moneyzer, 427, thank you very much. I'd say uh, enter the giveaway, but we're not doing the giveaway because my chatbot's not running because it's on my phone. So, yeah. Got to make sure the yeast is still alive, I guess. Although in this recipe, there is no yeast. So, you know, there's that. Cold Nebo coming in with a tier one sub 13 months. Hello. Thank you very much. Can you smell what the moose is cooking? Oh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Thank you, Cold Nebo, for 13 months. I really appreciate that. Very kind of you. As I was explaining to people, if you are going to be baking along with us today, if you made the dough um, previously, uh, make sure you preheat your oven to 350. 350 is what you want to do. So the question of the night moves, did you get a new spatula? No, I'm still in mourning over the spatula, so I have to, I have to let a week pass. The same dough from Saturday. Yes, it is. It's been in the fridge this whole time. Cornfield over there looking like trouble. That's right. That's what he does. Is that a huge bag of cinnamon? No, that's a huge bag of Pfeffernoos dough right there. 350 people <laughs> have a 100 watt bulb in the easy bake yeah that might uh, they may take a little bit longer to cook with a 100 watt bulb <laughs> just a little bit longer looks like cornfield's missing an eye no it's under there he just has a it's just lazy he's got the the uh, the the fur and the eyelid kind of like is like half covered <laughs> oh man I think we had an easy bake oven at one time. I'm pretty sure we did back in the day, back when we were children, chilling. Uh, oh, was that the clip of me uh, breaking the uh, spatula? Yes, that was a sad day. I've That spatula was like a spatula to me. 
and uh, I've had that uh, I've had that since I moved out of my parents house back in the day so it served me well but it has uh, it has gone the way of the dodo unfortunately so yeah I will have to be going before I make another batch of pfeffer noose I will have to get another spatula because yeah it was not a Dollar Tree spatula. That was one of those uh, good cooking spatulas, whatever it is from like Save Mart. That's top tier, my friend. I paid good money for that spatula. Dollar Tree. What are you? What are you crazy? I don't buy anything from Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's gone the way of the dodo. Ha 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 ha! You funny man. You very funny man. Moose breaks the spatula. I already broke the spatula. That's that's already happened. Uh, Jr. Eight hundred two. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Normally, I am a uh, flight sim streamer, and uh, and then occasionally uh, America Truck Simulator, Railroads Online, Airport Sim, perhaps, um, and uh, once a month we do some karaoke. But uh, today I am going to be cooking, which is we're branching out. I've already done the hot tub thing. I'm doing the cooking thing now. I'm trying to show up Sim Caesars. What's happening here? I've got to do as many things as I can. <laughs> One of these days, Sim Caesar's got to get a webcam. And uh, Quas, you're right. That cat has seen better days. Gormfield is... Uh, Gormfield's my spirit animal. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yes. So, yeah. So, what we're going to be doing here in just a second, that uh, cutting board that you see sticking out there at the bottom of the screen, we're going to be uh, flowering that up. And uh, rolling some dough on the uh, on the uh, cutting board, we'll cut it into little uh, little nut-sized pieces. Hence the uh, term pepper nut. And uh, then we'll spread them on our greased cooking sheet that you see right there. It has not been greased yet. I will grease it live for you on camera. It's one of the many services here at the Mustafa Channel. And then we will stick it in the oven for about uh, eight or nine minutes. He has a webcam, sets it up for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, but he just pointed at Snoopy. Greased nut-sized pieces. That's right, Sam. Your mouth's watering already, isn't it? <laughs> oh, do I make you randy, baby? It is still webcam strip. Well, one of these days he'll have to get a webcam on himself so we can see that beautiful mug of his. Because right now I'm just not really sure he's real. He, he claimed he was going to come to Flight Sim Expo in, uh, in San Diego and give me a hug. Did not. He still owes me a hug for not coming in Houston. And uh, so I, I, don't, I don't know that he's real. I have no proof, no evidence. The voice, it could be AI for all I know. That could be an AI voice. That could be a, we could be, it could be a computer that's been talking to us the whole time. Vegas is next. That's right. Vegas, baby. He has arms and hands and train whistles. <laughs> Uh, I've yet to see. I'll, I've yet to see evidence. <laughs> Prepare to be disappointed. <laughs> Thinks him as the love child of Dustin Hoffman and Billy Connolly. Oh my! You know, if he's got Dustin Hoffman in him, then I'm all there. You know what? I'll I'll take it. <laughs> I love Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> we do need to see a McRib on cam. Oh no, we don't. No, we don't. Cream cheese is here. Bonjour. And uh, Tim Dog. Hello. Welcome on in. We'll get started here in just a moment. The COVID is gone. All right. Awesome. Glad to hear the COVID is gone. That is fantastic. No one no one likes COVID. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I did uh, yesterday night. I started the process of... Uh, oh, full force 46. Welcome on in. I started the process of uh, uninstalling Microsoft Flight Simulator and uninstalling all the sceneries and the add-ons and all that stuff. Uh, for me to reinstall it again because after the update which basically reinstalled flight sim it did something weird with the paths and unlinked things it just it just got kind of wonky and crazy and things were breaking and some things working some things not so i just needed to uh uh i just needed to to pull the you know pull the plug and and redo it so just finished installing all the add-ons uh, this afternoon uh had time to do a quick little flight in the Foker and everything is working wonderfully so that makes me very happy so the flight simulator is back up and running and we'll be good to go for friday's uh friday night flight and uh and then saturday um i haven't looked at the uh the poll yet uh recently so yeah if the if you haven't voted yet 
for the Saturday stream, we're doing a viewer's choice, and you have three options. You can do um, we can do Airport Sim, which is the uh, that new program, the new game that came out um, that allows you to be ground crew and walk around and service the planes. Uh, we can do uh, Railroads Online again, or we can do American Truck Sim. So um, so go and vote. Click the appropriate emoji to uh, to to cast your vote. That's how you'll do that. Drugers here. Moose in the kitchen. That's right. Truck is six. Airport is twelve. Railroad line is four. Well, see, that's a that's a very measly amount of voting. So go go cast your vote. That's that's not very many people. I want to see more votes. I want to see more votes. This this country has a problem with uh, voter turnout as it is. We need to get more votes. Go vote. And if you have an election coming up in the real world, go vote. I don't care who you vote for. Just well, I do, but I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. But go vote. <clears throat> if you are if you are of legal voting age in the United States and you don't vote, I have I have strong opinions. <laughs> uh, in the Discord, it's in the Discord under the announcements channel of the Discord. You'll see an announcement about what Saturday is, and you can vote for what we should do. Uh, well, I don't know, Sims Eater, did you vote? <laughs> I did airports because I'm going to play. I've been playing a lot lately. Nice. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a fun game to be sure. So, okay. I think it is time to start the baking. Uh, what are we baking today? Oh, so that's a very good question. So we did part one on um, Saturday night. This is called Pfeffernus. Uh, it's a German word for pepper nuts or Christmas pepper nuts, really, is what they're referred to as. And it is not nuts, but it is a little small cookie, basically a spice cookie, that's about the size of a nut. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how you doing? So, um, so that's what it. Uh, that's what we're cooking. So we made the dough. The dough has to chill for at least 24 hours in the refrigerator after you do it, uh, so it can set up. And so we did that Saturday, and now here it is Wednesday. I pulled that dough out. You can see it right there. Dun dun dun. Um, and uh, is ready to be made into the pfeffer noose. So today is the baking part of it. Yesterday, or Saturday rather, was the uh, the preparation. They are not dog biscuits, but it does look like kibble. <laughs> I won't lie, it looks like kibble. And if you saw any of the announcements that went out on Discord, uh, let's see, Discord, Twitter, well, actually it's not X, Discord X, uh, Facebook, or Instagram, uh, I posted a picture of what they look like when they're all done. So there you go. Okay. All that is out of the way. We are going to take up our positions here and start this out. And I think I can see chat still, yes, on the screen over here. I want to make sure I can see that. I've been staying behind the, the uh, phone so I can see it now. Uh, but what we're going to do is we need to um, flour this up so it doesn't stick and it won't help, will help it not to stick uh, to our hands because it is a dough. And so I've got a little tin of flour here. Are those feet on the backsplash? Feet on the backsplash. Hmm? Huh? What feet? What are you? What are you referring to? You're referring to the uh, the laurel leaves where the stove is. You talking about this? These are leaves. This is like so, this is a very grandma -y, uh, design here. I, I didn't do this. <laughs> this is like a bow with. With a little a laurel wreath kind of thing coming down. It's, but yeah. Uh, I haven't seen a counter pull-out board in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's very convenient. Very convenient. Um, it looks like footprints. Well, it's not, so deal with it. All right, so it's going to take a little bit of flour. A little bit of flour, and we're going to sprinkle it on our cutting board, like so. And then we're going to spread it around our hands. And the advantage of that, too, is when we get flour on our hands, and it won't stick to our hands. So, move the flour around. There you go. It's like a gymnast. You want to powder up your hands. All right, we're going to take a little bit of dough, just going to pull off a nice little chunk, about yay big, if you can see that, yay big, yay big. And what we're going to do is, two things are happening right now. As I'm working this, it's warming the dough up and forming it into a ball. So, especially early on when you're doing this, um, might as well buy a new spatula. I will be buying a new spatula, but I'm in mourning right now with the old one. Um, you got some of Gormfield's eye. No, I did not. Uh, <laughs> that's cocaine, and uh, yeah. So as we're as we're doing this, we're warming the dough up and uh, allowing it to uh, stick to itself. If it's too cold when you do this, 
and you roll it into the snake, uh, it will tend to start to crumble apart. So you do want it to be nice and and uh, doughy and malleable. So part of this, especially when the dough is cold, when it's first out of the fridge, you're going to be doing this a little bit. It has a nice little exercise. It works as a good stress ball. So if you're one of those that has a lot of stress, this will help you. And uh, so once we get it kind of formed, we're going to make it into a snake. A snake, a snake, a snake. All right. And you're looking for it to look a little bit like that. If you can, I'm going to try to do something here. If you can see that well, that's about the size you're looking for right there. This is about a little bit smaller than my finger. Depending on how fat your fingers are compared to mine, uh, you may make them smaller or bigger. You're then going to take a knife. Knife. Oh. And we're going to chop them into tiny bits. Not big bits or medium bits, but tiny bits. And just push them out of the way. We're going to make a nice little pile of them. And as you work your way down, you're going to continue to work the dough. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as far as size goes. You're just looking for a, a general general size but this is what we're doing and it's okay if some of them are covered in flour and some of them not it really won't make a difference when they go into the oven at least not enough of a difference and if there's a little skinnier you might uh, make a little bit of a bigger chop to kind of try and keep the dough in a relative way so we're going to do this for a little bit and make a nice sizable pile and then we're going to spread them on our cookie sheet so as you're going, you may need to add more flour at certain points. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of dough. There goes your appetite. What? Because I made dough? <laughs> How weak of a stomach do you have? You know that pizza guys make the dough with their hands too, right? I did wash them, don't worry. Uh, that's smaller than I thought it'd be. That's what she said. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, there are different sizes. This is how I do them. This is how our family always did them. You'll find pepper nuts. Some of them are much bigger and with uh, uh, powdered sugar on them. The, those are not these. <laughs> those ones are generally a lot softer. These ones are more crunchy. So this makes a crunchy pepper nut. Can we eat these like cereal? You can. I've never, I've never uh, put them in milk before, uh, but I guess suppose you could. Liam, how you doing? For those of you that uh, were not aware of, uh, of uh, World Flight, Liam uh, was our friend from Germany. Guten Tag, mein Herr. And uh, this is actually a bigger, sort of a bigger piece than I wanted to do. This is really appropriate. We're making Pfeffernus. Are you familiar with uh, Pfeffernus being German? This is a German recipe, at least from the part of Germany that my family came from many moons ago. It's a German Mennonite recipe, so... It may be just uh, relegated to the Mennonites, but basically uh, pepper nuts, spice cookie, and uh, so yeah. So Liam was one of the guys on the team. He was the one from farthest away, I'm pretty sure, as he came from uh, Germany. Uh, actually, I think you from Hanover area originally, right? He flew out of Frankfurt, but that was just to get to the to America. Da, 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 da. Of course, we have those. Aha! See? See? Liam knows what this is about. Liam knows. Go give Liam a follow. He does some flight sim stuff too. He also does VAT sim controlling. He does uh, GTA. Kind of a renaissance guy. He's going to be doing flight training here in a little while and uh, hoping to fly for one of the airlines. So there we go. So we've got a nice little, a nice little uh, pile, if you will, <laughs> of peppers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the baking spray, the cooking spray, and this particular one, this is coconut oil nonstick cooking spray. You can use Pam. You can use whatever you want. Um, I just use. I have a coconut oil one that I use. And I'm going to get a little bit of a. Uh, paper towel and spread it around also so it's not a giant buildup as well because you don't need much just a thin coating a thin coating I'll turn that inside 
upside down so I can use it for the other pan. Can you hang on to that cornfield? Kind of. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to take these in a very scientific way. Try not to drop them on the ground. And scatter them along the pan. <laughs> And we basically just don't want them touching each other. They can be pretty close to each other, but they don't, you don't want them touching or they'll, they'll mold in, meld into each other and become giant pepper juice. Which, if that's what you're going for, I mean, that's fine. But uh, it's not necessary. And we might find as we do this, we may have put too many, we'll see. So then I just go through and we kind of spread them out in a way. This is the uh, part of it that's most monotonous, but uh, what you'll find is as we get going here, we'll have one thing in the oven, one in prep, and will take us just about as much, as much time to prep the next batch as it will for the one batch to cook, and so it ends up being quite a nice little assembly line. Check on chat here in a second. I have to see what I'm doing here, so I cannot see it at the moment. And don't worry, I'll show this to you close up in minute, so you can see what this looks like. If you can't really tell from the distance the camera is at, I don't have the ability to do multi camera, so it is what it is. It is what it is, I am what I am. Da, 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 da. So that was actually pretty much the perfect amount for this pan. My other pan is a little bit smaller, so I have to keep that in mind. I can't get quite as many on that one. There we go. All right, so let's do this so you can see what this looks like. That's what we've done. La, 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 la. Kind of see what's going on there. So we're now going to stick that in the oven, which I have preheated to 350 degrees, and we're going to do that for. Oh crap! I hit the wrong button. Stop! 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 There we go. We're going to do that for. I'm going to do eight and a half, right in between. All right, and that's going to take a little bit of time. While that's happening, we will get some more fleur, and we fleur the, the thing. And that is essentially the process. Uh, let's see. Looks like ribs. That's not cookies. They're fake, fake pills. I'm not making pills. This isn't. I'm not Dr. Fauci making pharmaceuticals over here. This is not the second batch, this is the first batch. This is the first batch of the season. I have not prepped this. This is, we prepped it together on Saturday. I have not made any. Uh, yes, Thanksgiving prep. So, Liam, I make these every year for, um, for uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving for the holidays. My grandma, who was 100% German, uh, my mom's side, uh, this was what she made all the time. And uh, us kids grew to uh, love these things. They'd have these out when we went over there for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. They lived up in uh, San Jose, and uh, so as she got older and I got older, <laughs> um, I wanted to learn how to make these because I loved them so much. This was kind of my thing that I really enjoyed, and so I learned the recipe from her, and uh, now that she has passed on, um, I carry on the legacy. So, and no one else in my family makes these, it's just me, so, so now there is a nice uh, video record of how to do this. So. <laughs> So now the recipe shall never be forgot. Now it is not a, it is not at least our family secret recipe or anything. This is actually in a uh, book that was, um, that had a bunch of Mennonite recipes in it. And so it's actually credited to the Friesen family, I believe, is on the, uh, the card there. So I'm giving away their secret, I guess. But they published in the book, so it's not very secret. <laughs> Because it's a 
slightly smaller pan. And it's got about six minutes left on it. Perfect. Uh, Friesen, Friesen family. Yeah, not spelled that way. Friesen, like uh, F-R-I-E-S-E-N. Uh, secret enough to be part of this community. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, so this is my my holiday baking tradition. Um, I used to also make pumpkin pie, but uh, that got just too labor intense, and this is more fun. <laughs> I can I can get uh, I can get really good pumpkin pie at Save Mart that I actually like better than the stuff that I made taste. So so I prefer that. So I actually have one of those in the fridge, uh, ready to go for tomorrow, along with some whipped cream. Because you gotta have whipped cream and pumpkin pie. Uh, one of the goals when doing this, by the way, guys, is not to cut your finger off. So make sure you don't do that. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> you have been warned. Knives are sharp. Once you oil these, you really don't need to do it again. You can just keep going. I found I haven't really had to ever oil them a second time in a baking process. So. But I guess it could depend. Oh, I lost one. That's for the homies. That's for Gornfield. That one's for Gornfield. All right, this one I'm going to spread out before I put them all on there. Sure, we got room because, like I said, this pan is a little bit smaller, and I don't want to. It's it's a pain having to pick some back off because you put too many on one sheet. <laughs> That's just a pain. bar stools over here. I think I'm going to bring one of those over for I'm doing the dough. So that'll probably be nice. I've never tried that before, but I just thought of it. Ingenious. The chief of computers will call me a genius. Move me to Moscow and give me a million bucks hard currency. I think not. Anyone know what that's from? Give you a hint. Nobody screws with Boris Grishenko. Eh? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, let's see. Uh, gotta check on my own cooking. Oh, nice. Yes. All right. So there we go. That one's ready to go. We've got another one. Let's see. Wait for the camera to show it. There we go. I'm watching the delay on the screen here. So, uh, Star Trek? No, not Star Trek. Not even close. <laughs> uh, Grandma used to make uh, pastry holiday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a million of those little things. Yeah, we have enough dough to make a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them all, but I'm gonna split the recipe in half. Uh, half is gonna be for my family, and half is gonna be for uh, that uh, gal at my church that I was talking about the other day. The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All I did was uh, tacos, corn chowder, and triple chocolate brownies for dinner today. Oh, nice. Not Buck Rogers, no. It's a, uh, there's been a lot of those movies. I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. It's a movie and there's been a lot of them. And they're still making them to this day. And the primary, uh, um, the primary character has been played by a number of people, including a few very famous people. 
Uh, two racks or three in your oven. Uh, there's only two, but uh, I only do them at one at a time. There you go. Since you just got it, that's Bond, James Bond. Anyone know which Bond film now? We got one minute before these guys come out, so a little bit of time for me to not have to. I'm gonna get this little stool here and see if this helps me. Let's see if this is, if this is nice. Oh yeah, this will be very nice. Hey, you can see me now. <laughs> Look at that. Of course, now there's a glare on the. <laughs> Let's see. No, not octopusy. It's not the second one. It's actually quite a way. It's actually more modern. Quite a ways more modern. But not too modern. Stand yep, Kevin's got it. That's that's the right one. What's the? Oh no, is that? Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah. That's the right one. Yep. Golden Eye. That's right. Golden Eye. Stand by your man. Yeah, exactly. Who's strangling the cat? Not that cat. There we go. All right. Oh, check it out. I almost forgot. These were a Christmas gift one year. Check it. Moose oven mitts. Complete with antlers. <laughs> All right. I'm pull these bad boys out of the oven. And I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see the results. But before I do that, i got to unplug the... Uh, the charge cable here. All right. Dum 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 dum. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Sim sees your gifting a sub to to Liam. Thank you, Sim. That's very kind of you. So there they are. You know, they're beauty. Uh, before I put those, do anything with those, I'm going to take the other ones here and put them in the oven. Go and timer is going to 8.30. Alright, and so with these, what we'll do, how <laughs> recognize the bowl, the dough bowl has now become the, uh, the uh, bowl for these guys. And I'm going to take these and I'm just going to, first I'm going to loosen them, make sure nothing is stuck to the, to the pan. They are a little soft, so you don't want to smash them with the, spat, the, uh, with the, um, um, where this thing is, spatula. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And the Christmas Pfeffernoose, the first Christmas Pfeffernoose of 2023 has commenced. That. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. It's beautiful. Moose prepared some earlier. No, I just, you watched me make these. <laughs> because I was quoting James Bond and I was asking them what movie it was. So they're, they're all now jumping on the bandwagon. Bunch of bandwagoners. Right, let me see if I can find where this was at. Yeah, roughly there. Nice. All right, we continue. Uh, can you make deviled eggs? I'm sure I could. I've never done it though, so there's that. Get over there. Little fleur. Little fleur. One of these days. Maybe I'll do uh, Swedish pancakes on the stream. That'd be a fun one. I haven't made those in a while. My dad makes those all the time. Well, not all the time, but we do those. That's like our special family breakfast we'll do, we'll get together for. They're the same thing if you know Russian pancakes or crepes. It's all the same thing. Gormfield really does look more alarming than usual tonight. <laughs> Buy frozen Swedish pancakes? No! From Ikea? No. Absolutely not. Those probably aren't even real. Probably aren't even real. 
You know, this is brilliant. I don't know why I've never thought to sit down and do this before. This is so much easier in my back. <laughs> oh, this is a delightful stream suddenly. I served your favorite biscuit cookies with my pumpkin ice cream. Oh, did you? I still say you're not white enough to be making pumpkin spice things. That's just like typical suburban white woman. Where's my pumpkin spice? Bring me pumpkin! <laughs> and yes, that's racist, I know. <laughs> but it's accurate. Can you make sushi rice? Now, I don't, I don't like sushi. Um, I'm not a big fish person in general, seafood in general. Uh, I do love a really good New England clam chowder. Um, and I'll tolerate, you know, fish in general. But uh, I do not go out of my way to do fish. And I definitely don't do raw fish. <laughs> what am I cooking? Pfeffernoose. Pfeffernoose. Why not some flower spice? Flower spice? What does that mean? You going to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Uh, not, probably not. Um, I usually watch the football games. I'm not too much into the parade. I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, but it's not really, it doesn't really do it for me. Now, uh, there's been a couple times where, like, a school from the Fresno area has been in it as far as, like, one of the bands or something, and so I will watch when that happens, but beyond that, it doesn't really strike my fancy anymore. What's that? It's a uh, pfeffernus. It's a it's a cookie. It's a spice cookie. It's a uh, German for pepper nuts, basically. spell today. No, well, it's fine. I can only read your messages from afar at the moment, so I'm going to move the laptop closer to me in a second because it's hard for me to see the distance <laughs> when I'm sitting down. And the glare. Come to me. No, forward used to be the laptop. There you go. Uh, he is making peppers. No, not peppers, moose. No, no, no. <laughs> Blue-eyed Tom, welcome on in. It's cool enough to touch this. isn't your wife helping you cook? Well, when uh, you don't have a wife, they don't help you cook. It's just me. Bachelor Moose. Dun, dun, dun. But if you know any ladies looking to, uh, to date a moose, then there you go. <laughs> Let's add a little bit more to the pan 
here. Optimize our real estate. There we go. Uh, I got two. You got two of your own. Well, you're you're twice as good as me, then I guess. All right, let's see how these taste. <laughs> Caesar, you can really taste the anise. <laughs> Do with that what you will. Um, he can't do a mistake because the uh, the alerts don't work because they're tied to the chat bot which is on the computer Not the phone. So yeah, none of the typical alerts and things work because this is a uh, on my phone unfortunately <laughs> uh, Cream cheese cream cheese cream cheese Tis kiss kiss. I did not say anus I said anus. It's a difference. Where did I put the uh, there. No, it's not the smoke detector. Don't worry. That's just the timer. Batch out. Stick it on the stove. And we'll take this one, and this one will go in. So you see now it has become kind of like an assembly line. In and out, and in and out. To actually set the timer after you put them in the oven, otherwise they will burn. They'll burn. No, I did not say taste the butt. Anise oil is a oil that uh, I think it's what gives licorice its flavor because it, at least it, if not, it is very similar to licorice, at least in the smell. So. No, no, no. Let's see. Uh, shoot. First time chatter, and I can't read it. Uh, fa Foutdoor 06 uh, YT. Hello. They really don't cook for long. No, they don't. It's about eight, eight to nine minutes, and so I'm doing them for eight and a half, and that seems to be coming out perfect. Uh, where do you get that uh, anise oil? <laughs> uh, you can get it. At, I mean, not a normal store. I get it at uh, Save Mart. It's a McCormick. One of the McCormick. Uh, no, it's, it's not spice, but you know, they have all the spices and things and oils and what have you. And so it comes in a little bottle. It comes in a little bottle. Have you considered using a 14 inch meat cleaver to cut the dough? No, because I think it's a little overkill. Even this thing is a bit overkill. <laughs> but I just need a small little knife to cut the dough. I don't need to be like, uh, what's his name? Louis from uh, Little Mermaid singing Le Poisson, Le Poisson, and hacking at everything he sees. Fun, though that may be. That <laughs> would scare cream cheese. <laughs> Yes, it probably would. 
Um, I'm not in a position to be able to click on the link, unfortunately, so if someone wants to tell me what that is, <laughs> check and see if it's appropriate. It's appropriate. Uh, I'm not scared of a moose. Well, you should be. <laughs> it's a Rick Roll? Of course it is. Of course it is. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. So anyone doing any uh, any traveling for Thanksgiving? Anyone already done traveling for Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> my bot blocked it. Oh, good for my bot. Good for my bot. See, he knows how to do his job occasionally. That's nice. Ordinary, so better be wary because they come in every shape and size. If honey's what you covet, you'll find that they love it because they'll guzzle up the thing you prize. Beware, beware, be a very wary bear. Still got two minutes left. Doing good. I was gonna travel, but Mrs. Gravity caught COVID on Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Traveling to my mom's for Turkey Day, and then maybe over to a friend's to play the new Monopoly board game. Oh, for the new board game. Uh, let's see. Capuchin Steve, hello. I'm sure I'm not the first to say Pfeffer Moose. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, I have to say Mrs. Gravity sounds like a ridiculous cool name. Also, hope she gets hopes. <laughs> Sky Bob, how you doing? Uh, this one was uh, one of your family's going to get. Yeah, right. Not Monopoly? What? Oh, but, oh, there's a Monopoly Boise edition? Really? That's funny. I didn't know they got that specific. Boise edition. Are there that many landmarks in Boise? <laughs> to warrant an entire Monopoly game? I suppose. I suppose it's possible. Yes, there is. Okay. Fair enough. All right, we've got about 50 seconds for that batch to be done. Then we'll be yanking that out of the oven. Uh, I thought you meant the new character's edition that has apparently come out. Oh, there's a character's edition one too, huh? All kinds of Monopoly things. <clears throat> I haven't played Monopoly in a long time, but I used to love Monopoly. It's so much fun. Monopoly and Risk were both really fun games. 
unfortunately, they're both games that last so long that oftentimes we weren't able to actually finish them, <laughs> depending on when we started them. So. You need to come down and I'll treat you to some finger steaks and potato cut fries. Oh. There it is. Next batch is up. Order up. appreciate the likes of a ticket drive. Oh, you know what? I do. Um, I just didn't really get a chance to play it that much. Um, I think I only played it twice. So, um, a friend of mine was really into board games and brought that over. But by the time we got around to that one, we weren't hanging out with, you know, friends playing board games that much anymore. <laughs> People were starting to have their kids and marrying off and stuff, so... Yeah, but it's a fun. I've played it before. It's fun. Yeah, Ticket to Ride is a good one. We played in um, in college. We did a lot of uh, game. It's a it's a card game called Munchkin, and uh, it's kind of. I get it's probably like a like a variation on like Magic the Gathering kind of thing. I've never played Magic the Gathering, but I kind of imagine it's probably something similar to that. Um, but uh, that was a fun one, and there was a uh, <laughs> there's still to this day memories of the level eight gazebo because one of our friends was getting married and wanted a gazebo, and so we were talking about there was a card that was a level eight gazebo. I don't think it was like a bossy fight or something. I don't know. <laughs> so we wrapped him up a uh, the card and gave him the level like gazebo because he wanted a gazebo he thought it was hilarious because we weren't about to buy him a real gazebo <laughs> and probably for the best because that marriage didn't last <laughs> but he is happily married now with some kids and so is she so it all worked out in the end. Just to different people. Da, 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 da. Scotty Bob. Hey, White Leg. Homie's up in uh, up in Boise, or at least nearby Boise anyway. In Idaho. So guys, don't forget, uh, we do have obviously no stream tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving. I will be with family eating my pepper pepper noose. My pepper moose. Um, Friday we will uh, we'll stream. Uh, Friday Night Flights. Um, is there a VATSIM event on Friday? I don't even know. Someone wants to educate me. Um, and then Saturday, we'll do Viewer's Choice, which will either be Railroads Online, Airport Sim, or American Truck Sim, depending on how you guys vote on the Discord poll up in the announcements channel. And then Sunday is our holiday uh, karaoke. 
So we'll be doing the karaoke on uh, Sunday night at 5, holiday edition. We'll do that one for holiday, and then uh, the next karaoke will be on New Year's Eve, the New Year's Eve party, New Year's Eve stream. So, so lots of fun coming up for the holidays. It'll be a lot of fun. If you want to come sing a karaoke, if you want to come hang out and observe, you can do that too. Cheer on everyone who does sing. Either way, we'd love to have you on Sunday for that. Uh, Moose in the New Year is only a month away. I know, right? It's coming up fast. Moose in the New Year. Those are going to put on the cookie sheet. No, lost another one. I'll have to have a uh, little montage about the uh, the pepper noose we lost this year <laughs> to the floor. I need like a funnel thing to catch these. That would be easier, much less likely to drop them. There's a little bit more on here. Get away with it. Since this is the bigger pan. F for fallen pepper news, that's right. I heard Sim Caesar is probably AG2 this year when he tried to cross the pond. Did he now? Did Geneva yell at him? Is that the issue? I had issues when I tried to cross the the out of the pond because I had my sim crash on me. And then it wasn't the same after that, because it was uh it did that update thing when I got back from World Flight and it like reinstalled the sim but then it had like two different instances of it because suddenly my uh, drive went dropped by like 400 uh, gigabytes in space available so it just like recopied a bunch of stuff on there which is really dumb which is why I just recently went through and obliterated it and reinstalled and now it's all better yeah, now where I had only 800 gigs left, I now have like 1.25 terabytes left. So that's much more in line with what it should be. Something I did discover, though, and I really wish there was a workaround for this. And maybe there is, and someone can tell me what. But the SIM, because it sees, like I have it on a, on a different drive than the main drive. So it's not going on to my C drive, it's going on to my F drive. And that's fine, but whenever it does installation of airports or scenery or airplanes or updates, it sees the amount of space available on C as its, as its target because that's still going through to the app data folder. It's just linked to F, which is how it does it when you install it to another drive. So I ran into an interesting issue when it tried to reinstall the entire sim because I thought I had to do like a 250 gig download for the update and I only had like 175 gigs available on the C drive so it wouldn't do it <laughs> and I had to go through and move a bunch of stuff off just to get it to do it and then I realized what it was doing and I immediately regretted that but um, I feel like that shouldn't be the way it is. Uh, you have a very pretty kitchen. I like the uh, hourglass egg timer on the stove. Oh yeah, it's nice. Also, if Heinrich shows up, this is the uh, Swedish Varsagolt, uh, Swedish shakers I was talking about on stream the other day to him. Let's see if I can... Actually, I guess I'm close enough. I can just look at it there. There you go. Varsagolt. Swedish shakers. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, thanks. It's not actually my kitchen. It's uh, my roommate's uh, kitchen. It's his uh, mom's house that he bought um, a few years ago. And then I moved in, and I rent from him. Alright, next batch is up. Order up. This one going into the oven.
Uh, let's see here. Sim lights can be finicky. Yeah, exactly. They cook fast. Yes, they do. How many batches so far? I think that one, that was that was four or six. It's the second one to go in. So I think that's, I think it's only four. Maybe it's six. Uh, we just get going fast, though. Uh, why not cook both at once? It looks like you got two ovens. No, I like one oven. This is a microwave up here. <laughs> and I don't want to microwave these. I feel like they won't come out right. <laughs> But also because it takes amount of time for them to bake as it takes me to make up the next batch. So it actually makes sense to just kind of go assembly line format like that. Because then I just have double down time kind of thing. So you don't, you don't end up going any faster. You don't want to make them so fast. So. so this seems to work out nicely. And it then breaks up the monotony too. I still have to roll these out. We're getting close to the, uh, if you can see that there, we're getting uh, getting close to the end of the dough. Uh, normally, I only make this a half batch at a time, so I'll cook it um, and then have it, and then make another batch, I'm making the other half of it later, but uh, I figured today, I might as well just do the whole thing, so. So yeah, we're just gonna do it all, and then, uh, I'll have to make some more dough in the next week or so. Da, 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 da. Uh, predates convection ovens. Well, it is old. It, it, I mean, it's. I mean, this house is ninety-one, something like that. I want to say. So it's it's that old. to a certain extent are convection ovens because convection is a natural process you can't stop. <laughs> Heat rises. That's convection. <laughs> so, um, let's go. Yes. Cool enough to touch. Yes. Lost three. <laughs> Just tried to scoop too many at once. I thought I was better than I was, but no. It was a lie. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> You know, the other thing that drives me nuts is when people call food organic versus non-organic. Because you know what organic actually means? It means it's carbon-based. And if you're using it to make it sound like it's natural versus something else, that's not the correct definition of organic, and I will call you stupid. If it has carbon, it's organic. If it doesn't, it is not organic. That's the definition. Do, 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 do. Words have meaning, and if you distort the meaning, then you just distort the word. Uh, what am I making? We're making a pfeffer noose, which is a, a German spice cookie. Uh, that uh, pfeffer noose translates roughly to pepper nuts or pepper nut, and uh, they don't have nuts, but they look like nuts, um, and so that's where they get their name from. Basically a spice cookie. And we can use like five more on here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get another round of this started. Wow. There isn't an FNO in Vatsum tomorrow. Well that's tomorrow is Thursday. You mean Friday? 
Saturday Night Hops in Budapest. Yeah, I won't be doing it on Saturday night. We'll be streaming on Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Just to install the various airplanes and scenery. My third party scenery. Not This is not the world updates and all that stuff. That all happened overnight. I did that overnight for Microsoft Flight Center. Just to install my scenery and airports. It took about four hours today. <laughs> and I think I still missed one because I was thinking about one and then I have to remember which one I missed because I think there's one somewhere. Most of mine are in those nice little um, programs like Orbex or, or Contrail or uh, the AnyBuilds uh, manager, which makes it really easy to keep track of what you have to install. But there's a few that are not, like Salt Lake City, Reno, um, some of my uh, smaller things like Jersey over, uh, over near uh, England. So there's a handful of those. I got most of them, I think, but I think there's like one or two I did not. And of course, anything I got off a of TO, that's free order. Most of the stuff I have, though, is paid for, so it's easy to keep track of. Let's get a little small handful here. I only have 60 seconds. Uh, Del Taco has a Biscoff shake. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> I don't know if that sounds good. <laughs> I have the, you know what, to be fair, I've had the Biscoff ice cream and it is quite good. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't knock it until I try it. Denny's did that whole thing where they did a bacon shake and that just seemed so wrong. I never tried that. It was, I just felt like that was going to kill me. I probably would have. seconds. Um, I travel. How would we know that? <laughs> That's not an airport we frequent. Like they did when they did. Sometimes they change stuff. That's why they have air rack updates. He's a baking moose making pfeffer noose, chopping little slices of cookie dough with spices. What uh, tune is that to, Thalo? Is that, uh, he's a. Uh, I feel like we're missing a syllable though. He's a little baking moose, making little pfeffer news. Oh, Barbie girl. He's a baking moose, making pfeffer news. Chopping little slices of cookie dough and spices. 
Hilarious. Hilarious. these pepper noose in a single serving I could see myself eating the popcorn oh yeah you do you just eat them um, you don't think I got fat by accident do you <laughs> uh, I've had both one is I'll two means I'll see ah, I see Fluffy Moose, yeah, exactly. I uh, like that the other tune you were singing. I think that's uh, Nowhere Man, what I was doing. Uh, the Beatles. He's a something nowhere man, making all his nowhere plans. I think that's what that was. I heard the tune in my head and wasn't really sure what I was doing. And I was like, uh, what is that from? I know the tune, because obviously it was in my head. Sometimes you just have a song in your heart, you don't even know it's from. <laughs> see more popcorn like than the first yeah there like I said there's different ver there's different styles of pfeffer news so uh, you can sort of fit the lyrics in yeah kind of there's an airport that's in Alabama but has a Georgia airport Ikeo code what, what does that even mean the states don't have individualized Ikeo codes I travel countries do <laughs> they all start with a K Beyond that, there's nothing specific that's going to identify it as a state. Nowhere Moose seems like a song for when ATC won't give you clearance, though. <laughs> Right, but that doesn't, just because it has GA in it, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it's in Georgia or not. Those, though, when you get to those ones that aren't even the Ks like that, they're, it's almost just like random letters and numbers. And they're all very small fields. McConnell coming in with 58 months. My goodness. Thank you, sir. Good to see you, my friend. Right, but like I said, the GA doesn't have anything to do with Georgia. That's a coincidence. And more so the fact that it's not even in Georgia. So, there you go. <laughs> you could say CA, too, and it wouldn't mean it's in California. Or Canada.
out, so I got really confused when I couldn't find it. Yeah, yeah. With those, you you really just have to uh, search them up and uh, and either um, like uh, Air Nav or Navigraph or something, because the ICAO code is not going to help you find it. I mean, realistically, the ICAO codes don't help you find them anyway. The only way that ICAO codes actually help you identify an airport location, if you're not familiar with it, is by the country code. And in the case of the United States, obviously that's a lot of territory. So it starts with a K, you know it's in the U.S. It starts with a, uh, if it starts with an L, then it's in uh, the lower half of Europe generally, and then the next letter will, will signify the country. So LF for France, for instance, LS for Switzerland, LI for Italy. Uh, if it's in kind of more the northern part of Europe, they'll start with an E and then the country code. So EG is Great Britain. Um, EI is, uh, is uh, Ireland. Uh, e, um, uh, e, ED is uh, Germany, which may think like a mis is a bit of a misnomer, but it's uh, Deutschland. So that actually makes perfect sense. One's coming out. This one will go in in a moment. Just got to finish sorting them. Thanksgiving to you. Just doing the baking of the Pfeffernoos. Oh, and I found out today that my parents got two little kittens yesterday. Well, they're not, they're not kittens, actually. They're they're adolescent cats, so they're not full grown yet, but they're not like kittens anymore. But uh, we haven't had any cats for a while. We used to, we grew up with cats. I love cats. And we just got a, a calico and an orange, both girls, named them Holly and Ivy. <laughs> so I get to meet them tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I've missed having, not having cats. We've had a dog for a long time now with uh, the black lab, Kitty. We just had to put her down though, finally. I mean, she was just really old and she was in pain and stuff. So we had to put her down back in July. So we've been petless for a little while. So that'll be cool. Uh, let's see here. You have a moose oven mitt? Oh, yes, I do, Thalo. Oh, yes, I do. That was a, uh, I think, it might have been a birthday gift. It was a Christmas or birthday gift one year. And they are fantastic. I have two of them. It's a matching set. And they have antlers and everything. <laughs> I have a number of moose paraphernalia. It is fantastic. Uh, let's see here. He's a real Gormfield cat looking like he needs a hat. <laughs> uh, what round are we on? Round of what? Giveaway? We don't want to do any giveaway tonight because I don't have the ability to run one. Because I don't have a chat bot. It's just running off my phone. Running off my phone. Which I should see what the battery is doing. But we're getting close to being done. The batch, the, uh, the dough is almost done. And then we just gotta cook the last few bits. Do the cleanup, do the washing up. Which I'll actually do most of that off stream. <laughs> Da, 
da, da, da, da. Uh, this is what 12 oh I don't even count I'm not even counting I just know it's it's done when it's done I haven't even been counting you'll have to go back and watch the VOD and count <laughs> that's the only way you're gonna know go back and watch the VOD Uh, I ran out of lyrics after that. <laughs> You're not going to stream the washing up? I guess I'll leave. <laughs> That's over on my OnlyFans page, Thalen. If you want to see me get soapy, <laughs> you gotta you gotta pay for that. <laughs> my only hooves channel. Seven eight seven eight update was released a few minutes ago. Is that the Horizon Sim thing? I was surprised to see Sim streaming the seven eight seven this uh, this evening. It's pretty uh, pretty bold. How'd that go? Did you get on the ground okay? I didn't see the. I came in. I came back in when you were uh, flying your uh, Cessna. Decidedly less large aircraft. Maybe it was a heavy Cessna. I don't know. Two and a half minutes. For that one to be done. Uh, let's see here. Two letter digit identifiers are assigned to private use on the Oh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh the Kuro. The Kuro. See, there's too many of these. There's the Kuro, there's the Horizon. Like, I can't keep track. Not sure I want to pay to see that. You don't. You don't. I'll, I'll answer that for you. You don't. <laughs> that was 7879 at SFO a few minutes ago. Very cool. Yummy. All right. I got just a little bit of time for the next batch comes out of the oven. Oh, I was gonna check the battery on the phone. See how we're doing here. I have no idea. Oh, 80% were fine. Good phone. I keep thinking it's like my laptop that has no battery life because it's old. It's old like me. Uh, picked up the Black Box Simulation Shorts Regional Premium Pack this last week. I will spend tomorrow checking it out. Oh, very cool. I'm 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 uh, considering getting that. I was seeing I was watching uh, Fabiano fly that, and he was loving it. It's a cool little plane. It's a great uh, billboard too because it's a nice square. It'd be a great uh, Gormfield plane. <laughs> kind of fat and squatty like Gormfield. 
It'd be perfect. I almost want to get it just to be able to do a livery for Jeff with Goldfield. <laughs> Uh, all right, so when this one comes out, we've got this one, and uh, I don't know if this will make one more batch after this, or if we'll have one more plus a little bit. Problem is when I do them, I have to be careful because if you don't, if you do a partial batch, they tend to bake funny. They get uh, you, you don't want to leave them in the same amount of time because they end up burning. It's kind of like when you microwave stuff. If you don't microwave the same amount of stuff, it ends up like cooking more than you expected. Flew the Shorts 360 way back in Sublogic Flight. Oh wow, I had the thing way back then. Huh? Horizon Sim has been wanting, has been working on the Kuro, so it kind of is Horizon Sim, but it's still named Kuro. Okay. Is the wait? So is the Horizon Sim also Musfus, or is that X Plane? Because I was. I thought, I thought the Horizon Sim was the one Spy was doing there. Maybe that was the cure. Maybe just was using wrong words. I don't know. Like I said, I can't keep them straight, so it's a bit of a problem for me. Twenty. That is the big tray, so that's that's good. Uh, basically, those private strips, uh, two letters based on a state, and okay, but that's not always true because I know plenty of ones that have uh, maybe when they're private, private, but uh, I know plenty of strips like that that have no reference to anything regarding a state. So I think maybe they started doing that, but I don't think they were able to hold to it. Or they didn't hold to it, you know, a good old US government fashion can't even do their job right. That's my guess. Horizon Sim is Microsoft. Okay, so they're both Microsoft and they're both working on the cure. Like it's confusing. So is the Horizon the 10? Like what's the like what's the difference? So what's 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 Kuro and what's Horizon Sim? What's the difference? That's what I want to know. Inquiring mooses want to know. Hero has the 788 mod. Horizon Sim has multiple mods, including the 789. And they've also started working on the Kuro 788, starting with this update. Okay, but then what is that, that's uh, see that's what I don't understand. Like, if Kuro has the 788, 
Horizon is also the 788, but they're working on the Cura one. Like, so what's the difference? Is it better? <laughs> Are they doing different things? Like, I don't understand the point. This is why I don't worry about the mods so much and just go for the straight up pair wares because I can't keep this all straight. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Between that and the fact that there's going to be way too many A320 aircraft in the sim <laughs> by different people. Fly-by-wire, any builds, uh, with the, the Latin VFR, Phoenix. <laughs> like, how many do we need? All right, that is all the Pfeffer noose prepared. Kitchen moose, that's right. No, it's not Boba. <laughs> this is Pepper News. Okay, you can upgrade it from this FNR to a full blown AKO. Yes, it can. Uh, they're working with Kiro. I know, but so, but why is, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> this including DFP. Okay. But only the Horizon one or the Kiro one too? Like, see, that's what, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm apparently dense, but. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Uh, Horizon also has mods for the Lab Hero. Of course they do. <laughs> mods for a payware airplane. That makes sense.
two more in. The last batch is in the oven. This makes effectively one bowl, <laughs> one large mixing bowl. Which is about right if you think about it, because when we made this, the, uh, this barely held the dry ingredients. I mean, it held it with some room. Plus the wet ingredients and the thing, so all that toll comes out to be about one bowl size. I think that's quite fitting. All right, where do we have a chat here? Uh, your oven mitt, yeah, you gotta love the oven mitt, right? It is a moose with antlers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're spice cookies, basically. Uh, what does it mean when it says ATC said, when, when it says ATC says, I have heart clearance not valid 30 minutes from now. I can't figure out if I keep hearing <laughs> Yeah, it means if, yeah, because you, you're given clearance and the clearance is only good for so long. That's all that is. Uh, happens when to take off, yeah, it's, that's, yeah, that's what's going to happen when you take off from a non-towered field. So they're, because they don't actually see you on the ground. So you're calling them in the blind and you're saying, hey, I'm right here and I'm going to take off in this field and you're going to get me on radar once I pop up. And so they're saying, okay, you have clearance for this range and then go to the local frequency and call us back when you're in the air and your clearance is void if you can't get off in time. It's a moose mitt. That's right. It is a moose mitt. Oh. My back. <laughs> All right. Well, that is how we make the pfeffer noose. That's, that narrows it down, I traveler. <laughs> Doesn't matter where, what airport you took off from, as long as it was non-towered. All right, six minutes left on the final batch. It's the final countdown. Oh, I've been sampling it. Oh yes, oh yes, and it is delicious. It tastes like the holidays. It tastes like the holidays. Reminds me of going to grandma's house. Okay. Again, I travel. We're not familiar with that field, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, quality control. Next cookie stream win? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do something with like Swedish pancakes or something one of these days. Have to be a morning for that one. That would have to be that. That would have to be a, a Saturday morning. Actually, no, I can do that a Friday morning too. I suppose I don't have I have Fridays off. Who's forgot Christmas music? Oh, I no, I didn't forget, but the way I would play it would be on my phone, which is doing the stream. And I would get DMCA'd. <laughs> and I'm not playing Christmas music yet because it's not Thanksgiving. It would be wrong. I don't do you know, Christmas music is not allowed until after tomorrow. I'm tired of Thanksgiving getting the shaft. As soon as Halloween's over, someone lets Mariah carry out of the box and it's all downhill from there. So no Christmas music until after. It will be until, no, it will not be after Christmas in two hours, or after Thanksgiving in two hours. It will be after Thanksgiving in like 26 hours. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. London Controller was playing Christmas music before Halloween. London Controller is wrong. London Controller is just 
plane wrong. Less than two hours till what, I traveler? I said after Thanksgiving. Today is not Thanksgiving. <laughs> Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. You can't be after it until we're beyond it, which means 24 hours plus the two. And that's for you, by the way, not for me. Spy play because of today. Well, spy is wrong as well. I'm going to start calling everybody out. They're all wrong. You play, you play Christmas music before Thanksgiving and not until after Thanksgiving. You're just plain wrong. Sorry, but you are. I love Spy, but he's wrong. <laughs> I have very strong opinions about this. Thanksgiving doesn't get enough credit as it is. You know why? Because it's not a shopping holiday. And so the United States goes, well, you can't capitalize on Thanksgiving unless you grow turkeys and yams. So we're going to skip it. Oh, I know, I traveler, and they're wrong too. You can list all the people that are doing it. They're all wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't, a majority does not make you right. That's called mob rule. We don't believe that, believe in that in this country. That's why we have a constitution. <laughs> so the mob doesn't just get to rule because they, they're the majority. That's why you have rights. Uh, when the people are thankful, they're not spending money, right? Exactly. That's why that's right out for, for America. It is, it is a crack up, though, the, the placement of the holiday, because we spend the day being thankful for everything we have, only to go and trample each other for, to get stuff we don't have the very next day. Uh, Sim Caesar was playing with his whistles. He can play with his whistles all he wants, while he's not playing Christmas music on them. Will Black Friday sales begin before Thanksgiving? No, not typically. That's why they're on Black Friday. And a lot of companies, thankfully, have gone back to the after Thanksgiving. There was a lot of companies leading up to the pandemic that were doing the, um, the like, we're open on Thanksgiving starting at, like, 6 p.m. crap. And a lot of them have stopped doing that, thankfully. Because that was just messed up. <laughs> By the way, all those Black Friday deals, especially when it comes to tech, they're not worth your time. They're all overpriced, and they're dropped to their normal price, and they're usually the junk off-brands like Spectre TVs and Westinghouse that will break in three months anyway. So don't break your back over Black Friday deals. They're generally not that worth it. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Especially when it comes to tech. Especially when it comes to tech. Do you going to be up at 3 a.m. from Friday to fight for Christmas shopping? No. No. I don't I don't shop on Black Friday. Because I remember that I was thankful the day before. <laughs> no, I have no time for that. I'm not I've I've never gone shopping on Black Friday and I don't intend to start now. It's just not worth it. People are people are animals. It's disgusting. Uh, speaking of Black Friday deals, what aircrafts are going to be good deals this year? Uh, well, it depends on what goes on sale. Um, you like seeing the fights in the news? Yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's what is supposedly going on sale. I mean, any. I mean, at the end of the day, any aircraft that you want that goes on sale, that's a good deal. So, and same thing with scenery, same thing with any other add-ons to the sim or hardware. I mean, if, if it's something you've always been wanting and it goes on sale, that's that's the nature of a good deal. <laughs> Boy, like I went once, never again. Yeah, you only have to do it once. Uh, watch the uh, South Park episodes regarding Black Friday. That'll, that should scare you into not wanting to go. <laughs> come sail away, come sail away, come sail away. <laughs> yeah, wrong kind of sail, but yeah. Figure across. I wouldn't doubt. It. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on it, uh, Mork. I think uh, Leonardo and PMBG. Some of those guys. They don't typically do sales. Period. So I wouldn't. I would not expect it to happen. I mean, if it does, awesome. But I wouldn't count on it. Unfortunately, I wish they would because they would get some more people into their into their their aircraft. That hold out because the price is a little on the high side. But it is what it is. What I really want Leonardo to do is uh, come out with a steam gauge uh, version. I, mean, I would pay more for that too. So, because right now we have the 
the electronic engine instruments and everything in the in the thing. It would be cool to have like like the old uh, DC nine all steam gauge stuff. I'm gonna have to put this in the bowl, I think. Dusty, and I think of the uh, quote from Parks and Rec of uh, Andy when someone says something about living forever. He says, "No one needs to live forever, unless you pick the right grave." Hint: It's the dusty one. For news. Don't forget when you're done to always turn the oven off. <laughs> it can be an easy thing to forget. Uh, Worth my is probably not on sale. Uh, let's see, I gotta go back and chat here. We had a big bad event one Thanksgiving in the mall here in Alabama. Yeah, it's Black Friday. Waiting for Cyber Monday. Yeah, it usually has better deals for PC Black Friday. Yeah. Remember when the gallery had their first traffic was backed up on the interstate? If it's worth buying, it's probably not on sale, yeah. Remember the year when people were running for cover of the... Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's a pre-built, I'm sorry. Yeah, as long as... And here's the, the, the key to Black Friday stuff is, again, to make sure you've already s to sourced it, priced it, and all that stuff bef well before Black Friday. Because what gets offered on Black Friday oftentimes is stuff that they can get off for cheap, make it look like it's a deal for you, and it's really not. So as long as it's the same thing and it's on sale, there you go. But, uh, but for that very reason, a lot of times that stuff won't necessarily go on sale either. So you never know. Most sales, especially Black Friday sales, are kind of a scam because they're, they will overprice the retail price the list price and then say oh it's 20 30 percent off well no they just overpriced it 30 percent and they knocked that overprice off so <laughs> good cookies for my friends and give them out for christmas usually oatmeal and raisin craisin ones i see yeah, i'm not much of a, a raisin or craisin person so i love uh, like oatmeal cookies without raisins they're really good I love oatmeal cookies, but typically they're oatmeal raisin, and I don't do raisins. Raisins are the devil's chocolate chips. <laughs> they're designed to look like chocolate chips, and they're disappointing. <laughs> That's my take. Uh, that really wasn't that long ago. Oh, you're talking about that now. Yeah. All right, well, that is going to do it for the stream, guys. Hey, thanks for coming and uh, checking it out. Again, this will be, uh, now that this one's done, I'm going to, I'm going to finalize both of these and put them up on YouTube. So if anybody wants to uh, have access to the uh, the recipe as well as the uh, steps for making these in the future, you can. Uh, I would encourage you to try making your own batch of these and see how they come out. I think they're delicious. They're very addicting. And uh, like I said, they uh, I enjoy them just straight, but uh, I've also been known to uh, eat them with a little bit of cheese. So uh, you can do just plain cheddar, but uh, I actually prefer doing something like a Havarti or a Gouda with them they are quite good even a even a uh, monterey jack is really good with them too uh we should do homemade pizza next i've never made homemade pizza i don't have a pizza oven my uh my brother-in-law has a pizza oven he could do he's actually done homemade pizza he, he would be better at that he's actually italian after the pancakes yeah he's actually italian i'll leave the uh pizzas to the italian i'm i'm german we don't know how to make pizza as long as you bring it up, there will be no pineapple on my pizzas as much as i like to give spy a hard time for that um, I'm right there with them. I think pineapple has no business being on pizza. <laughs> and another, and a normal of when? What's an of when? <laughs> uh, 
Ugh, get that pineapple pizza out of here. The only good pineapple I've ever had is, um, oh, it was um, like, oh, how did they do it? It was at one of those uh, Brazilian steakhouse places and they like, they cook it and then it's got like a little bit of like cinnamon on it too. And oh, it's so good. That's, that's the good pineapple. Yeah, you can have the pineapple, Thalo. <laughs> Don't be calling me no elk. I will not take that. All right, thanks guys for uh, coming, hanging out. Uh, we got a few uh, uh, resubs. Uh, Sim Caesar gives it a sub to Liam. Thank you so much for that. Let me actually let me look and see back what happened here. Uh, pineapple only belongs on Hawaiian pizza. Well, that's true, but Hawaiian pizza is right out. Uh, pineapple upside down cake. Ew. Well, well, you might as well be describing a fruit cake right now, which is just right out. Uh, so let's see, we had um, Cold Evo came with a resub 13 months, uh, Sim Caesar get the tier one to uh, Liam, and uh, you guys are running a poll about, <laughs> who did that? Kevin, was that you? Where do I, how do I see the results of the poll? I can't even, what, what was the, what was the, <laughs> I can't even see it. That's lame. I want to see the poll. Uh, and then uh, Sean McConnell came in with a uh, tier one for 58 months. So, yes, one. Of course it did. Saw a blackberry grilled cheese today. It looked vile. That does sound vile. Although, a regular grilled cheese on sourdough. Oh, that's, that's the stuff right there. I love me some cheese. Uh, it was a very, very uh, slightly attended poll. Okay. Uh, what am I doing with all the cookies? I'm going to eat them. I mean, not me personally. I mean, I am personally going to eat them, but not all of them. Uh, they're going to be going with me to uh, my parents' house uh, tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and we will all partake of them. So, and it's not a poll that's up anymore. I travel. I was seeing the results of it. Uh, it was will moose break another uh, break a second utensil or however you spell it. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, it's not. It's not like going in something else no 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 no. these are standard these are it's a finger snack it's just it, they're cookies you don't put cookies in something else <laughs> you just eat them just like this there you go explain biscoff these are like micro biscoff <laughs> not really but they're not far off actually uh, yeah, the crunch is good. They are very good. So, no, I don't put them in a cookie jar. I just take them, I'll wrap the um, the top of that and um, and then take them over. And we'll we'll probably make quick work of that over the course of tomorrow because we'll we'll be nibbling all day on, on stuff. So, I should sell them to airlines. No, no, they lose their um, specialness when they when they just become mass produced. So no, no, thank you. They can have the biscoffs. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks, guys, for uh, coming and hanging out. We will see you on Friday. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving for those of you that are celebrating tomorrow. If you're not, you know, you can be thankful anyway. doesn't have to be Thanksgiving to be thankful. In fact, we should be thankful every day for the stuff we have. So there you go. I've had Timbits, yeah. Now Moose Bits. That's right. These are Moose Bits. <laughs> it sounds like Moose Droppings, but yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, you Americans. Have a great one, and uh, that's right, yeah. Everyone who's traveling, drive safe, travel safe. Hope there aren't uh, any issues traveling tomorrow. We're having 20 at your house. Oh, my goodness. We're having, uh, I know of one other person that's coming over, and possibly two that's coming over that are some friends of my mom's that may or may not be coming. One's for sure, but, yeah. Uh, coffee crisps? No, but then I don't seek out coffee things because I'm not a coffee person, so doesn't appeal to me. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you on Friday for Friday Night Flights. Take care, everyone.